In this video, we're going to talk about why unique pointers are helpful, and we'll do a demonstration of one of the places where using a unique pointer instead of a raw pointer can help you avoid memory errors. So I have a my class class that I've created. It has a private integer member, and then it has a constructor, a class, or a destructor, and then also a print method that allows me to print that out. So I'm going to write two functions that actually create my class objects. So the first would be, we'll return a my class pointer. It'll take a, an integer in, and then it's going to return a new my class. So it's going to return a new raw pointer. My next function is going to return a unique pointer. And I'll call this smart, short for smart pointer. And that's going to return make unique my class. So it's going to make a my class object, and then it's going to return a unique pointer to that class. We'll initialize that with in. So if I create two pointers, I'll use auto so that I don't have to worry about what the type is. So we have my pointer one, and that's going to be a my class maker pointer, and we'll pass in five. And let's just test this. We'll print it. So now, if I if I compile this, I need to fix this name. And if I run this, you'll see that I, it calls the constructor when it instantiates the object here, and then I print it. But notice the destructor never gets called. So that means that me as the user of this function, I have to rem remember to delete in pointer one. So if I do that, then we're going to get the destructor call. Okay, so how about instead of endpointer one, I'll call it endpointer raw, and then endpointer smart is going to call my class maker smart with ten, and then I'll print it. And I'm not going to delete it yet. So when I run this, notice it calls the destructor for my smart pointer, even though at no point do I call delete, do I call the direct the destructor specifically for my smart pointer, it still knows to call the destructor when that variable goes out of scope because it's a unique pointer. Now it's auto, so it, it determines the type based on the right hand side, which in this case is going to be a unique pointer that we create here. So if you remember with some of the other functions you've written with raw pointers, if you return a pointer, then you have to remember to free that memory in your client code. However, with a unique pointer, we don't have to worry about that. Once that variable goes out of scope, its destructor gets called. So we still wanna make sure we have a reasonable destructor for whatever object we're using. But by the same token, if we use unique pointers in our classes, then a lot of that stuff gets handled for us as well. So using unique pointers definitely makes things easier from the standpoint of memory management and, and avoiding some memory bugs.